Hey, good morning, spiritual prospectors. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at in this beautiful world of ours. This is Mark Lanehart, the Intuitive Prospector, here for another Metaphysical Mocha Mondays with Home Times Magazine. Uh, you can see today that I'm in black and white, and I wanted to do that on purpose for the fact today I'm talking about spiritual ABCs, and I'm talking about level one of spiritual ABCs, a class that I'll be teaching, and it's about awareness. So today's topic is going to be about awareness, and as you can see, I've, this is my first black and white uh, Facebook Live. Just having fun with uh, you know life, having fun with uh, the work that I'm doing uh, here in Seattle, Washington. So if you're just joining the conversation, if you want to like the page, if you want to follow along, just hit the uh, subscribe button. I think it, it's down on the feed below. Uh, I see a lot of people already joining in, so good morning to all of you. Thank you for joining in for Metaphysical Mocha Mondays with Mark here in black and white. Uh, just want to say thank you so much. So grab your tea, grab your coffee. We're going to take a few minutes just to get ready for the week ahead. I'll have a positive affirmation for you, and I will also have some signs, symbols, and synchronicities that I've been sharing throughout the week. So hopefully those uh, those help you out, and uh, you know, keeping um, in tune and in awareness of you know what's going on in the in the world around you and in the week ahead. And today's topic is going to be about awareness. That's level one of the spiritual ABC class that I'll be teaching this Thursday over on the Ohm Times Expert Learning Platform. It's a live platform. It's a live class that you can go to. The links are in the description field, and I'll be following up after the Facebook Live uh, with you as well to answer any questions that you have. Uh, but you can find it on Learn It Live dot com or the ohm times expert learning platform and the class is spiritual abcs i've also put in a 10 percent discount code for the first five spiritual prospectors that register for the class you can you can attend it next thursday with me at 4 p.m pacific 7 p.m eastern and it's a live class but don't worry if you can't make the Thursday class. All my classes are recorded. I've done about 12 classes to date. You can go watch any of those classes anytime you like. Some are free. Uh, some uh, do cost a little bit to pay for the platform. You just have to register. So uh, uh, hop on those links in the description field. Uh, share this page out. Subscribe to the page if you uh, like the work that I'm doing. And if you want to work directly with me, my link to marklanehart.com is also in the description field. You can uh, always work with me directly here in Seattle, Washington, the Pacific Northwest. So I hope you have your coffee. Hope you have your tea. Um, thank you for joining me wherever you're at in the world. I know we have a lot of people as I see the news feed coming through. I'm going to turn the news feed off just real quick um, so I can get into the message. And then I'll have my live after show over on my business page, The Intuitive Prospector. And I'll put the link here on the page that you can actually uh, have a direct conversation with me. And I'll do my best to answer your questions. And we do that right at 8.30 Pacific uh, Standard Time or 11.30 Eastern over on the Intuitive Prospector page. So today's topic is about awareness and tuning into the awareness. And that's usually what I teach in my Spiritual ABCs class is level one of becoming aware of your surroundings, becoming aware of um, your environment, becoming aware, self-aware of who you are and where you're going in your life path. So the definition, uh, and, I, and I've done some research on this, the definition of self-awareness is the capability to reflect and decide and become aware of our responsibility for choosing the way that we live and thus influence our own destiny. So when I teach my classes, I talk a, a lot about intuition. I talk a lot about awareness. I talk a lot about sign symbols and synchronicities. And uh, before the Facebook Live uh, video is over, I will give you some sign symbols and synchronicities uh, to pay attention for the week ahead. So I'm here every Monday morning at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern, uh, Metaphysical Mocha Mondays with Mark. And it's a Facebook Live um, feed to get you inspired, to be inspired, to inspire others, to help you with the week ahead. And I chose Monday uh, because Monday seemed to be our least favorite day. Everybody woke up this morning and had to get ready to go to work and said, can we just make it another Sunday? Please, can we make it another Sunday? So I found this to be one of the least popular days, and I thought, what better way to uh, Facebook Live than on Mondays and, and do it over a, a cup of tea or a cup of coffee uh, with me. So real quick, let's just get into the space of awareness. Let's get into the space of um, 
being aware of who we are, being aware of our surroundings, being aware of our relationships, being aware of um, our jobs and what we're doing. Are we doing the right job? Um, are we doing what we're supposed to be doing in life? Because like I said, the definition of self-awareness is the capability to reflect and decide and become aware of our responsibility for choosing the way we live and thus influence our own destinies. Now, I find the definition of awareness to be very uh, interesting because it says the capability to reflect. And I don't know how many of you out there around the world that are uh, participating with me this morning actually take the time to reflect on your own awareness, your own self-awareness. Are you aware of who you are? Are you aware of what you're doing in life? Is it what you want to be doing in life? And Reflecting for me is meditation. I meditate every single morning. I get up and I do Qigong. Um, I'm here in my prospecting healing studio of Seattle, Washington. Um, I try to get out in nature. That's why the backdrop is of the mountains. It's a good reminder to take the time to disconnect so that you may have the time to reconnect. I talked about that last week on uh, last week's Facebook Live. So if you want to check that out, you can uh, always go to any of the video library here on Own Times Magazine and check out the uh, wonderful videos that not only myself uh, is doing, but there's a lot of great people on Ohm Times Magazine, a lot of great teachers, uh, astrology, music, um, angels, inspiration, um, you know, so check out the video uh, library, guys, because it's, there's a lot of good work, and there's, you know, especially in a, in a, in a world today that is so chaotic and so backwards that you need something to inspire you, something to look forward to, something to believe in, something to have hope in, and something that might uh, put you on a path of of uh, healing others or being an inspirational uh, speaker like myself. I actually took my Myers-Briggs profile uh, when I realized that the corporate world did not fit me any longer. It didn't fit my spiritual path. And I actually um, am, am known by the Myers-Briggs profile. I answered a, you know, a question, a, a questionnaire of uh, I don't know, 150 questions, honestly, openly and honestly. And it came back that I'm, I should be doing the work of the inspirer, being somebody that is an inspirer, helping others. And that's what I do here in Seattle as a professional psychic spiritual medium. But I also do a lot of work, uh, writing, um, workshops, Facebook Live like I'm doing here this morning, and uh, public demonstrations. But I also like to inspire people and get people living again because it's only through my own uh, tragedies that the transformation began to help me get to a place of triumph in my own journey. And I want to share that with others and help others to get them living again. And trust me, I've had a lot of tragedies in in this uh, this lifetime, enough to last two lifetimes, I guess. Uh, but you know, becoming aware and, and it kind of, you know, put me on that path to be aware and to be awakened. And so when you take the time to disconnect, you make the time to reconnect. And that's through the capability of reflecting. So I don't know how many of you actually meditate. There's many forms of meditation. It can be gardening. Uh, it can be reading a book. It can be getting out and walking the dog. It can be getting out into nature and just sitting underneath the tree. Even if you're not close to nature, it's just putting your toes in the water, putting your hands in the in Mother Earth. There's many forms of meditation. So I would you know highly recommend uh, if you want to you know change your life, do that with going within, self-reflecting, and also, you know, deciding to become aware of your responsibilities. There's a personal responsibility and, you know, people, when they work with me, you know, I give them, you know, spiritual consultation and spiritual advice, but I also say that at the end of the day, it's free will and personal responsibility for what you want to choose. So your future is always fluid. Mine are just markers along the, the roads of life and, and what I'm seeing, but you can always choose to change that based on what direction you want to choose to go because you are um, taking responsibility and choosing through awareness on what how to live and thus influence your own destiny. So again, I'll be putting the um, link to my Intuitive Prospector page. It's over on Facebook. Just look for the Intuitive Prospector page. Uh, that is um, where I will be doing the uh, live after show. Uh, the show has, this Facebook live feed has grown so much. And again, thank you to all of the spiritual prospectors who are joining me this morning, uh, giving you a shout out. But there's so many that scroll through uh, that I can't keep up anymore with uh, saying hello to everybody and I, I can't get to my message. So I, I've decided to do the message here on Om Times Magazine for the Monday, give you some, you know, spiritual advice, some spiritual 
uh, things to look for. And then if you want to directly work with me and have a conversation over a cup of coffee, if you have Q&A, um, I'll go back and answer your questions here after the Facebook Live and after my after show. But I'm doing an after show now on the Intuitive Prospector uh, to directly engage with anybody that wants to um, ask a question on today's topic. And today's topic is all about awareness. So let's take a deep breath. Breathe in some love. Breathe in some peace. Put both feet on the ground. Just kind of sit back in your chair, relax. Activate our singing bowl. Just take the time to disconnect from your daily activities. If you're just waking up, good morning. If you're in the middle of your day, thanks for joining me. If you're getting ready for bed, um, you know, set the intent to get a good night's sleep. And just taking a nice deep breath, breathing in love and peace. <sighs> Exhaling worry and stress. And it's these little techniques of self-talk, positive affirmations, just taking the time to even just sit and just take a second to pay attention to the, surround, the surrounding sounds. Like for me, I have the window open here in the studio and I can hear the birds chirping. Again, I got the Tibetan singing bowl right here. Just feel that vibration. With the affirmation of breathing in, there's a lot of power and energy in prana, in breath, in the environment in which you connect with and you connect through your breath, you connect through your heart. Um, so take in another good deep breath, breathing in peace and healing. Hold that breath for a brief second. And exhale things that no longer serve your spiritual path, things that you may be worrying about, things that you may be fearful about, things that you may be stressing about. Doing this little technique can help to help you open up and tune into your own awareness. And it's, it's, it is a form of reflecting. You don't have to get all quiet with meditation. And, um, you know, just taking a, a nice deep breath and even count to 10 can really help you with, you know, your awareness. And again, your awareness is um, your external environment, how you connect to your external environment, but also your internal environment and how you're connecting to self, how you're connecting to what I call the PEMS, the physical body, the emotional body. How do you feel emotionally this morning? The mental body, what's going on in your mind this morning? Has your mind already taken off and got ahead of you for today's uh, soul adventure, whether it's career, traveling, what have you, and your spiritual body. So a lot of us, it took, it took me about 37 years to, re, to remember that I'm a spiritual energetic body first, choosing to come here into the physical world to have physical experiences and to learn. Because really the point of us being here is to learn. So today's video is in black and white on purpose. I did black and white because I wanted you to be aware of maybe the colors that, you know, what color is my shirt? What color uh, is the mountains behind me? And have awareness to colors. Colors play an important part in our daily life. The clothes that you put on, you know, reflect a lot of times what you're feeling emotionally, what you're feeling mentally, what you're feeling physically, and you don't even unconsciously know that you're you're doing that. So today's video is black and white, so you know, no need to adjust your Facebook Live. It is black and white for that reason, to bring uh, attention and intent to colors that might be around me, colors that might be around you. And when you focus on setting the intent, energy follows intent. And that's a part of awareness as well. So again, thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you had a great weekend. It was beautiful weather here in Seattle, Washington. We had a lot of sun. I was able to get out um, working on around the house on projects, working on my garden. So it's uh, got some vitamin D finally. So one of the quotes I want to give you guys in, when it comes to awareness, and I'll be talking about this on my class this Thursday over on the Ohm Times Expert Platform, Spiritual ABCs, Level 1, there's going to be three levels, Level 1, Level 2, Level 3, where we'll break down uh, the spiritual ABCs of what I found to be helpful in my own um, journey, my own spiritual path. Like I said, a lot of tragedies that transformed my life and put me on a path to be more triumph in living a authentic present life uh, in doing the work as the intuitive prospector. But one of the uh, quotes that I love comes from Eckhart Tolle. And he says that awareness is the greatest agent for change. So for those that are watching today or those that catch the video after the fact, um, maybe you're here because you're looking for an agent of change. What 
you don't, maybe there's something you don't like about your life, something that just isn't resonating with you, something that doesn't fit, but you don't know what direction to take. You don't know um, what choice to make. And so a lot of times, if you take that time to reflect and go within, I say that the only way out is in or through. And reflecting on that, a lot of times you'll get the guidance that you seek from you know, the spiritual world, the universe, whatever your belief system is, if you have a belief system in, uh, you know, in um, all the different religions around the world, it's connecting to that higher consciousness, connecting to source to find the guidance that you're looking for. So again, Eckhart Tolle, who I love, I'm studying, i um, been studying him for years. I read both of his books. Um, well, he's got more than a few books, but um, The Power of Now is probably one of my favorites uh, because it teaches you about living in the now, living presently. And he talks about awareness is the greatest agent for change. So if you want to be a change agent in your life, start paying attention and start being aware to those things in your life that either serve you well or no longer serve your spiritual path and your, you know, where you're going. Does it help you get to where you're going? And some of you may not even know where you're going. I know for many years I had no idea what I wanted to do in life. Um, you know, we're, we're born and raised to think that, you know, we have to have a job because the job defines us. But I can tell you there's so much more to life than just a job, a nine to five, and it doesn't define you. Um, getting out into this world, connecting with different people, different uh, connecting with different uh, cultures, different languages, different experiences. It's all about the learning process, and that's what life is all about. Um, what I like to call, and I've coined, soul adventures. Um, classic example that I'll give you is I'm currently getting ready to go to Italy for three weeks um, later this fall to the island of Sicily. So I'm researching all about Sicily, learning about its people, learning about its culture, learning about its area and where I'm going to go. But I'm also learning the language. I've got a pocket guide where I'm learning just the basics to step into another country and understand how they live their life and also speak with them and have some really fun experiences. And so that's something that I'm currently doing to um, explore the world around me. So self-awareness, again, when you, you are self-aware when you sense when fear, anger, or despair strikes you. So self-aware is, you know, is also a mechanism of fight, flight, or freeze. Um, and a lot of times when we associate danger, fear, or despair, the self-awareness kicks in automatically and self-awareness lets you know that, hey, there's a fearful situation. I'm in fear for my life. Uh, some people have described it as time slowing down, uh, kind of moving through a slow motion type of energy. Um, if there's anger, sometimes we say things, we get so angry um, that we say things that we don't mean and we don't realize that we say it because as, as we get louder, our ability to hear actually goes down as the, the voice gets um, louder. That's why we have two ears and one mouth, obviously. Um, but they've done studies that when we get angry, we speak out and we don't hear um, what's coming back to us. So anger is also, you know, um, kicking in when you are, when you sense that, when you sense anger, when you sense fear, when you sense despair, that's also part of self-awareness. That's becoming aware of you and how you're acting or how you're behaving. Uh, most, some of you, um, maybe not all of you, um, I'm speaking for myself. Um, and then also, but becoming, when I see things that are of despair, I become aware of that situation, that empathy of, of you know, what's going on in the world or, you know, whether it's poverty or, or whether it's, a, 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 you know, hurting an animal, um, you know, becoming aware of that and what can you do to make changes. Even if you can't physically go to a place and make a change, you can still send your intentions. You can still send your thoughts. You can still send, uh, you know, your mind um, energy, your prayers, if you will, um, you know, whatever your belief system is. And because there is a lot of power in thought, there's a lot of power in mindfulness, there's a lot of power in awareness. Um, I always think of the, you know, because I, you know, the analytical mind for who I am, uh, even though I'm a spiritual, you know, worker and a light worker, I still have the analytical mind that doesn't go away and I still question and I still want to know why. And, you know, I go back to Masuro uh, Amoto who is the Japanese researcher from Japan that started uh, embarked several years ago on you know showing that consciousness your our own consciousness can change the molecules of water and he did this through um, the effects of words he did this through the effects of music he did this through the um, um, study of prayers and all of those um, aspects of words songs prayers 
literally change the molecules of the water. So I always go back to that. And the way, the reason I say water is because the one thing that we all have in common is we all need water. And our bodies are made up of about 65%, 70%, depending on what study you look at, of water. So if we're made up of majority of water, we know that the water within our system, and we can't survive without water for more than three days. In fact, the, the, the three things that you need for survival is shelter, water, and food as last. You can actually go longer without food than you can uh, with water. So you need water before food. And so I always go back to that study of um, Masuro Omato, um, the Japanese researcher that literally physically showed the pictures of water molecules and how words, songs, and prayers change based on positive thoughts, based on negative thoughts. So if you guys don't know that research, check him out. Um, fascinating. You get to visually see the effects through pictures of the molecules of water. So I always go back to that and it's a reminder for me about what are my thoughts, what are my words, what kind of songs am I listening to? Because even what we take in externally can have an impact. Media, news, um, songs that are, you know, of a more negative tone versus a positive tone. And again, it's free will and choice. You decide what you want to bring into your system and what you want to bring, you know, into your environment. But you have that power of choice and that physical conscious or the consciousness of the physical world really can have an impact on your health, on your mindset, on your relationships. Um, so it's really about, you know, awareness for this morning, and I'll be picking this subject back up here in about 10 minutes over on the Intuitive Prospector page. Uh, getting information, you know, how do we gather our information, you know, through our senses, see it, taste it, touch it, hear it, smell it, see it, uh, but you can work with other senses as far as clairsentience, clairvoyance, clairaudience, that's something I also teach on, um, but you're getting information from your external environment and how you connect in the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual aspects of who you are. You understand the information. Now, you might not understand all the information, but that's part of the, part of the process is to gather, to process the information, to have an understanding of the information. And then that helps you with thinking ahead where the seeds of your future you know, start today of what, what you plant. And that's what awareness really is. And it's level one that I'll be working on uh, in the Spiritual ABCs class. Um, Level one, it's a foundational piece of awareness, and we'll build on that. We'll take an hour. There'll be a meditation, and I will give you some exercises and some examples on how to increase your awareness and how to improve your awareness. Because, like I said, Eckhart Tolle loved the quote, awareness is the greatest agent for change. And, again, that's why I'm in black and white today, because I want you to be aware of what colors do you think are around me. Um, and I'll be in color over on the Intuitive Prospector page. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll stay in black and white. I don't know. It's always kind of just an improv when I do these. There's nothing, you know, planned or scripted with the Facebook Lives. It's based on a meditation that I do in the morning. And then I get on Facebook Live here on Times Magazine. And I share with you the uh, the information and the messages that are uh, coming through for today. So um, I want to give you a positive affirmation uh, for uh, this week. Something I want you to work on. And the positive affirmation for this week to help you is today is a brand new day. My past does not define me. My future is mine to create. I'll say it one more time. Today is a brand new day. My past does not define me. My future is mine to create. That's your positive affirmation for uh, this week. So if you can say that to yourself. Um, I'm going to also just give you a um, quick number uh, for those of you that are watching that might be on the spiritual path or spiritual career. Uh, in meditation today, I came up with the number 78 which is also the number 15 in numerology. I follow numerology a lot. Numbers play a, a big part in our lives every day. Um, and there's a universal code behind numerology and how numbers, uh, you can get into pi. We can have a whole another conversation on uh, the aspects of pi and sacred geometry. Uh, but the 78, I looked it up. And it's for those of you that are in the um, opportunity, you, know, you have an opportunity in your career, either full-time or part-time, for those that are in the mind, body, spirit uh, arena, and if you see the number 78 or if you see the number 15 popping up, that's the spirit's world, the universal's way of coming through to say it's time to embark on a spiritual career. And it doesn't have to be part-time. It can be full-time, vice versa. But start down that path if you're seeing the number 78 or the number 15 this week specifically um, to let you know that um, universe has got your back to start a, a, a mind, body, spirit uh, career in you know healing, writing, um, what have you. Um, so that's uh, for this week. That's a, a, one of the sign symbols and synchronicities I, I like to share out. 
Um, the totem animal for this week, some of you may not like this, but this is what came up in the meditation, <clears throat> is the snake. So if you're seeing a snake, uh, that really means that you're about to go through some significant personal changes this week um, or this month. So, so it's, it could be intense, it could be dramatic, it could, it could be a lot of drama around it. So if you're seeing the snake, whether it's in a magazine, on TV, hearing us about it over you know, the airwaves, um, it's, uh, it's, it's really metaphorically saying that the old way, it's like a snake shedding its skin, the old way of who you are is about to uh, metaphorically change uh, and you're, you're going to shed things that no longer uh, serve your higher good, things that no longer serve your path, your career, your relationship, what have you, and that you're going to start on a new self, a new um, direction, shedding old, beginning new, and that's also about awareness. So I thought it was interesting that the snake uh, totem animal actually came into today's meditation uh, because I didn't know what it meant, so I had to actually look it up to see what the uh, the definition of the snake was. So if you're seeing snakes around you, um, that's telling you that you need to let go of old. Um, I mean, you can hold on and be dragged, as the old saying goes, hold on and get dragged or let go and be free. But the snake is a reminder from the uh, the world of nature and the animal kingdom that you need to let go of, of old things so you can start to grow a new skin, a new direction. And that's going to also tie into awareness as well. So... Let me get another cup of, another drink of my tea here. Again, guys, thanks so much for joining me this morning. I'm just here for a half hour, give you the direct message. Again, I'll put the link to the Intuitive Prospector page here in just a second when I transfer over. If you want to do join me on the after show uh, for Q&A, um, head over to Facebook. I'll be doing the Facebook Live on the Intuitive Prospector page, and you can... Uh, uh, directly um, interact with me and I'll be giving shout outs and saying hello. We'll have some music and I'll be doing my best to answer your questions. I will answer your questions here um, a little bit later when I go back and check everything. Uh, if you want to engage with me uh, on Wednesdays, I have a show called Inspired Living Radio over on Home Times Radio. It's a live internet show. You can access it from anywhere in the world. No username or password required. It's uh, at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. This week is going to be our first open line show. So if you want a free reading with myself or my co-host, Kim uh, Falcon in Ver Richmond, Virginia, this will be the show to call into because we're going to be opening up the phone lines for the first time and engaging with our inspired listening community all around the world, taking your questions. Could be psychic, could be mediumship. Could just be, hey, just want to say hi. So I'd love to hear from you. Just go to the internet, type Inspired Living Radio with Mark and Kim. It's on the Ohm Times Radio Network, and it's at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. I'll be back here next Wednesday, or next Monday, excuse me, at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern. And I'll be live this Thursday over on the Ohm Times Learning platform, uh, Learn It Live. Dot com. You have to register. There's a, a discount code in the description of this video if you want to take 10% off to register. I think the class is 20 uh, for level one, spiritual ABCs level one, where we'll be focusing on awareness. And then I'm already working on next month's class, which will be a lot of fun uh, getting into level two of the spiritual ABCs. So as always, have a great week. Stay positive. Be inspired. Inspire others. Dare to dream. Dare to explore. Dare to live. I'll be back next Monday for Metaphysical Mocha Mondays with Mark. So until then, be kind, be caring, be compassionate. Namaste, everybody.